Hello and welcome to the Information Literacy Lessons at the University Libraries. This four-part lesson covers using the library catalog to find resources including books, magazines, and newspapers. You can also find media materials such as CDs, VCR tapes, and DVDs using the library catalog. Part 1 focuses on features of the basic search page. Part 2 outlines the functions available in the advanced search page. Part 3 and Parts 4 identify powerful advanced searching techniques. We will start with Part 1 on using the basic search page of the library catalog. We need to begin from the library's home page. If you are in the MyU portal, locate the library tab on the upper right hand side of the screen. Clicking on the library tab will open up a new page in your web browser. The About the Libraries box is located in the lower left hand side of the screen and clicking on the University Libraries website link will take you to the library's home page. You can also access the library's home page from the USD home page. Clicking on the link Academics, and from the Academic page, find the University Libraries link. Clicking on that link will take you to the library's homepage. A third way to access the University Libraries homepage is to type in the URL address www.usd.edu slash library in your web browsers. And when you have the correct spelling of the URL, it will take you again to the library's homepage. We recommend that you bookmark this URL, adding it to your favorites list, because that makes it much easier to get to the library homepage when you need to. The University Library's homepage has a series of images at the top of the page, followed immediately by a box with a series of tabs for different search widgets. Books and More accesses the library catalog. The Databases widget accesses the databases, and the Journal slash ebook widget allows you to look up journals by title to see if they are available from within one of our many databases. The Research Guide widget provides access to our different library guides, and library guides are course or subject specific research guides with links to different resources focused on a course or subject. Finally, the Interlibrary Loan widget allows you to sign into the Interlibrary Loan system where you can request books and articles from other libraries. But in this lesson, we'll click on the Books and More tab to access the library's catalog. You can do four things using the catalog search widget. First, you can enter in search terms in the search box provided. Second, you can access the advanced search functions of the library catalog by clicking on the advanced search link. Third, you can see which books you have checked out or renew checked out items by clicking on the access account renew items link. You will be asked to enter in the long barcode numbers in the back of your Coyote ID card beginning with 2159. Enter in your last name as the password. Fourth and finally, you can access the World Catalog or WorldCat, which is a catalog that allows you to search hundreds of libraries' holdings. This is a great way to find items that we might not have in the University Library's collection, and then you can request these items using the Interlibrary Loan widget. Let's enter a search term in the catalog search widget, such as nonverbal communication. And after you check your spelling for accuracy, click on the Go button. And this opens up a new page with our results. The results page has headings at the top for each column on the page, including author, title, year, call number, and the number of copies owned and how many are checked out. Notice how the records are organized by year. Clicking on any of the other headings will reorganize this alphabetically and numerically. But we'll go ahead and search chronologically by the most recent document first. The call number column is especially useful. The first piece of information is the location of the item. Most books are located in the main collection, third floor, although we do have bestsellers and reference books located on the first floor. The call number for each item is the series of letters and numbers that follow the location of the item. Make sure you write down the entire call number before going to find your item. When you initially do a search using the search widget, the modify search link will not work. And that is because it tries to return you to the previous page, but we've not yet opened up a previous search page. So we'll use the toolbars at the top of the results page. There are three rows of toolbars. The topmost toolbar includes a My Library Card link, which opens up the same page as the My Account link from the catalog search widget. The Help Page button, located on the right side of the top toolbar, provides a detailed description of all the different toolbar functions. The middle toolbar contains a new search tab on the left-hand side. Clicking on that new search tab will start a new search by opening the basic search page. We bypassed this page initially when using the catalog widget search function. We don't use any of the other functions located on the middle toolbar. 
The bottommost toolbar contains the different links for searching the library catalog. Available options include a basic search, which is where we're at now, the advanced search, which we'll cover in part two of the catalog lesson, browsing, and command search. We'll cover the rest of these links in following lessons. There are three important fields in the basic search screen interface. There's the change library field at the top, the choose type of search field in the center, and the enter words to search from fields. The change library field allows you to select which library's collection you are going to search. The default setting at the University Libraries is University of South Dakota. Just above the topmost toolbar you'll see in black font, you are searching USD University Libraries. Clicking on the blue box with the down arrow on the right hand side of the Change Library field allows you to select different library catalogs from across the state of South Dakota. You could choose the Vermilion Public Library, you could choose the McCusick Law Library at USD, and other libraries, but for now we'll remain within the University of South Dakota. The Choose Type of Search field allows you to limit your search to Words Anywhere, title words, author words, subject words, or the call number of the item if you know it. The default setting is words anywhere. The final field is the enter words to search field, and as you can see, we have our search term nonverbal communication. This is where you specify the search terms that you want the catalog to look for. There is a very useful feature in the basic search screen located immediately above the search term window. This feature is named tips. The tips window contains helpful hints on how to use the Boolean operators AND and the Boolean operator OR, and it also shows you the wildcard character, which is the asterisk symbol which is located just above the number 8 on your keyboard. The wildcard symbol allows you to find portions of words. For example, if you search for institute with the wildcard key, that will retrieve institute, institution, institutions, institutional. The wildcard character is useful when you need to search for variations on a word, such as singular or plural forms. This completes part one of the catalog lesson. Part two will cover using the advanced search functions of the library catalog.